And even though the Artemis moon launch was scrubbed, people here in Corpus Christi can still launch themselves into space. Well, figuratively, right? After COVID shut it down for two years, the planetarium at King High School will welcome back stargazers in about a week. Taylor Alanis has the story. This is 1965 technology and it still works. Technology you can find at the King High School Planetarium. Back in the 1960s, uh, the United States was in the space race with the former Soviet Union, and the federal government wanted to encourage high school students to go into careers related to math and science. The planetarium has been around since King's opening nearly 60 years ago. The National Defense of Education Act that school districts could apply for and so since King High School was being constructed at the time, uh, CCISD was awarded this grant. Since then, it has welcomed many visitors, both students and members of the community, to learn about the mystery that is space. It has a video dome projector and then a star projector which, which simulates the nighttime sky. Although most of the equipment is original, the planetarium went digital in 2009. But for the past few years, the stars went dark, the COVID-19 pandemic forcing it to close. We had a lot of demand, primarily from neighboring school districts that wanted to bring school field trips once schools got back in session. But soon, stargazers will once again get to not only take a trip through time with some vintage equipment, they'll get to soar into the near future. I have it set for that evening's nighttime sky and so it basically takes the real sky and shrinks it to our ceiling. The shows are held at the planetarium on Tuesday nights at 6 p.m. Adults are $5 and then children and seniors are $4. Shows start September 6th and run until May. The money goes back into the planetarium. It helps us with operational costs and equipment upkeep. Taylor Alanis, Chris 6 News.